Hello and welcome to my Fire Monkey video blog. Today I want to show you when you in Fire Monkey should use a T grid instead of a T list box. For example, I have here an, a backup program which saves um, some files on a backup um, disk and after it you can check it in the logbox um, if there are some files that was copied or not and I use here for a T-list box and um, if you have only several hundreds, hundreds or some um, few thousand entries it is not a problem. But here I have an another copy set where I have copied um, nearly hundred thousand uh, entries and when I try here to show the log files it will crash sometimes later and when we have a look into the task manager we see it takes a lot of amount to create this list box items and at the end too many and the program will crash. So that's a good idea to use the grid um, instead of the t-list box and I show you how it will be done. So here we have the um, list box. I simply delete it. Use a T grid. Uh, so we handle the right alignment um, with the anchor properties. We set it to right and bottom. We simply use the grid event on get value. And here I have a simple string list, data list. So we say if a row uh, smaller than data list and count minus 1, then value is equal a row and that's all. Of course we had to add a string column and in the resize event um, we take care that it has the same width like the uh, grid itself. So, and of course we don't uh, need the header. In the option we deactivate header. So, and what you uh, also should not forget is to set uh, the property read only because normally this list boxes or this replacement here for isn't um, editable. So, and it works very fine now here. And let's have a look how it works now with the 100,000 entries. So I've started uh, the new version and so it works. Yeah, this was a short tip. Um, hope it helps. Bye bye.